Hello, welcome to another skill building exercise in GIMP 2.6. For this lesson, we're going to learn how to make a simple Mac OS X iPod Touch icon. Start by making a canvas 300 by 300. Go ahead and create a new layer. Grab your rectangular marquee tool and drag the rectangle. I already have the rounded corner to 80. And Go ahead and do that now, and fill it black. Go ahead and create a new layer. Select path. Select shrink by one pixel. So create an outline. And go ahead and go to your gradients tool. Click on gradient. Depending on what you're making, your color can be different. I'm just gonna use deep sea blue. I'm gonna drag from a far bottom to a little bit over the top. So I get something that looks like that. Go ahead and do new layer. Okay. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to make this. But right now, I'm just going to import my pre-made avatar. There it is. Scale it so I can fit it to the page. Yeah, I kind of like that size. Okay. Actually, I'll make it just a tad smaller. Okay. Now, for after I center it, I'm going to create a little extra effect by duplicating this layer. Then I'm going to use my flip tool. I'm going to flip vertically and drag just a little bit below. Now go ahead and right click that layer and add a layer mask. Black full transparency. I'm going to get my gradient. Reset back to foreground to background. Go from black to white. I'm going to drag just a little bit above the icon to about here. And that will cause a mirror effect. I'm going to head to new layer. And remember how we did the selection to path? If we select from path, it will now select around our selected area. Select shrink by one pixel. Actually, two pixels. And go ahead and select feather. Now grab your ellipse marquee tool, drag from each edge to fit the square about a little, o a little above halfway down. And I'm going to drag the top so I get about in a circle. Of course this is all just eyeballing too, so Ooh, I forgot to tell you to do one thing. Make sure you select intersect in the ellipse select mode will intersect the ellipse selection and the current selection. Sorry for that. Uh, there we go. That was all eyeballing. Now switch your foreground to white, grab your gradient tool, select gradient, foreground to transparent, drag from the top to a little bit below. That causes a shine. You can change the opacity to whatever you like. I'm just going to edit a little bit. I'll delete the background and create it transparent. File save as iPod avatar and the picture. iPod avatar. .png. Like I said before, I like the ping file type. And that's how you make a simple Mac OS X iPod icon. Thank you for watching and keep watching for more tutorials. And also check out GIMP Know How for a lot of help with GIMP. And believe me, he's a really good user, and that's how I learned a few things too. So, GIMP Know How, check him out. 